So in the last tutorial, we were able to set up our Maya uh, hotkeys into the S Max so that they match the ones that we're used to within Maya. And that way, we don't get problems when we switch between software if we have to. Uh, we don't get confused when it comes to shortcuts and things like that. So that's the main reason we set it up. So this time, I'm going to press spacebar on my uh, perspective view here. So this time we're going to go uh, over creating an object within 3ds Max uh, and how that works as far as editing that object. So I'm going to go over how to create an object in 3ds Max and how to set it up so you can actually edit that object. Okay. So in Maya we're used to just going to the edit mesh menu and creating a polygon primitive from there. Uh, in 3ds Max, I guess you can try to do the same, but if you go to the edit menu, there's no such thing as creating the polygon primitive. You can actually go to the create menu and do so from there. But the nice thing about 3ds Max is that you get this little window right here. This is, be, this is going to be really useful uh, as far as finding all your tools and also creating and modifying your objects. So I really like the way 3ds Max is set up so that you don't really have to go up here and go to a menu to get something done. Alright, so to create an object, uh, we have to go to our create here, which is our... Which you can consider this as, as the same as the create menu, just uh, a more compact area. Okay, so first we have our geometry where uh, we can create our polygon primitives. There's a bunch of primitives here including dark nerves okay um you also have shapes which are nerves and also lights as well as cameras and pretty much you can create everything that you already know how to create within maya but they're pretty much here okay so for your poly uh, objects they're going to be under the geo and the standard primitives okay so to create something in 2ds max if you're used to Maya, let's go ahead and click on the box so we can create a cube here. Okay, so as you can see, nothing happens yet. Um, go ahead and scroll down here. Okay, so you got a few options here first. You can go ahead and name your object. Actually, I don't think you can do it before you create it. Okay, so you can set your sizes here, uh, your segments as well. So just like Maya, you can do that, and you can do it interactively, the same way you can in Maya, okay? Uh, the only difference here is that you draw, you can draw it once, and then second time, and to stop creating an object, you have to do a right mouse click to exit the tool. If you don't do right mouse click, you can see it here, so you can see you're continuing to create objects. So do a right mouse click to exit the tool. Okay, let me delete these. Okay, so to exit any tool within 3ds Max, you press the right mouse click. Just like in Maya, usually you end a tool by pressing enter or Q. Uh, in 3ds Max, just uh, right mouse click and you're going to be exiting a tool. Okay, so you can create uh, your objects interactively just like you do in Maya. At the same time, if you're like me and in Maya you like to uh, deselect the option to create objects interactively and just create them uh, in the origin of the grid, you can also do so in 3ds Max. Okay, so I'm going to click on the box again, but this time I'm not going to drag and create the object interactively. Instead, I'm going to open the uh, keyboard entry here, and you can pretty much set your size here for the object. Just gonna set it to 10 and 10. Okay. And technically you can set up the position as well, but I want it to be in the origin of the grid. So I'm just gonna leave this all at zero and then create and pretty much you get your object in the origin. Uh, don't forget to right mouse click to exit. Okay. So that's how you create your object. Uh, something else that you may notice in 3ds Max if you're used to using Maya, is that every time you create an object, it uh, it assigns a random color to it. And as a Maya user, I just find that to be pretty annoying. Um, 
so what I do is I click right here okay and from here you can set it so that uh, by default this is set to assign random colors I deselect that because I don't like it and I pretty much just create a custom uh, gray color for my objects to be assigned by default and just see it click OK and that's pretty much going to set it so that every time you create something it's going to be uh, a gray uh, something else that we need to know here is to name your object just click here and name it um, you know uh, standard things like that just name it so that's pretty much how you create objects within 3ds max it's pretty standard and easy to do just like you can in Maya and again we have more Pretty much have even more primitives than we have within Maya. So just have fun trying all of these out. And in the next tutorial, I'm just going to show how to find where to find some of the most useful tools that we normally use within Maya. Uh, where to find those in 3D Studio Max? Okay.